Okay, this is what I'm going to show you how to make today, a pop-up card like this. You're going to take a piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock, and you're going to cut it down to 4 and a quarter this way by 9 inches this way. Then you're going to get it on your scoreboard, and you're going to score it at three and one quarter inches and you're going to score it again at two inches. And you're going to do that on both pieces. You're going to have a valley fold and a mountain fold on both sides so your cards are going to look like this. Then you're going to set them up. They're going to go together like this and that will form your card. You pull it to pop your piece up. Your pop-up piece looks like this, and I'll have the template on my webs on my blog. This piece is going to get glued right in here. There's going to be a score line that goes from this corner to here. So we'll score that now. So your piece is going to go right here and be taped down in here. So I'll tape that now. You can pause it. Okay, so I've got my piece glued down here in this little section. So this is going to be my pop-up. This part here, you're going to eventually be able to trim around to fit your pop-up like we did on this card. I trimmed it down to fit the ball. So we just leave that for now. and. Your card, see that's already going over the top. I know I'm going to have to trim that off, but I'm not worried about it right now. So you're going to tape here to there, tape here to there, and you can practice and see if it's going to work by flipping it up, and it will work. So now we're ready to tape this together and put the already decorated piece on the front panel and then we can work on our flip up piece. Okay, so I've got my pieces taped down together and my pop up kind of works. It works. And there's where I made a mistake, but I'm not worried about it because my thing's going to cover it up. So we'll get our already decorated piece, which I've already colored. This is an image from squigglefly.com. Cute one. And we're going to attach it to the front of our card. This one actually is going to open up and flip up a different on the different side than the house mouse card you saw. I want my thing to flip up to the side. So this is the front of my card. And the good thing about this is you can always trim later. There's some a little bit of give room in this. So you've got your card. I can always tie a ribbon around here if I want to decorate it more like I did on this. And now I'm going to have this pop up and it's going to say right here. So I know about where I want this to be and how I want it to be trimmed. So I can mount this on here. First of all, we want to make a line to where we know this it can't go above that. Now I can attach this and cut around that and it's going to pop out and be seen. So I'm going to do that and then you can see the finished product. Okay, and here is our card. And when I open it up, the thing pops out. I've trimmed around the edge so that just the part shows. And I will have that template for the flip it part on my blog for you to download. Just to give you an idea of how to cut it. And there's the card. Thanks.